Any type versus Obsidian. It's a showdown, a head to head battle. We want to know which of these apps is a better note taking app and which app offers better features. So let's check them out. So once we jump into any type features, you'll realize how good the software actually is. So any type actually stands out with pretty great offline capabilities, which is unusual. It allows you to access and edit documents without an internet connection. The feature is particularly useful for anybody that works in diverse environments and may not always have a reliable internet access. Any type also utilizes decentralization storage, giving you greater control over your data. The approach not only enhances security, but also allows for a more private experience compared to your traditional cloud-based solutions. The platform supports various rich content blocks, including images, videos, and embeds, enabling you to create dynamic and engaging documents. The versatility enhances the way information is actually presented and consumed. AnyType offers customizable templates as well to help anybody kickstart their project. The feature allows for a quick setup and it provides a foundation for consistent documentation across your teams. You can also take advantage of advanced tagging and linking functions that enable better organization of information and easy navigation between related content. This enhances the user experience overall by simplifying the retrieval of relative data. Also, any type places a strong emphasis on user privacy, allowing anybody to decide who can view or edit their content. This really does focus on privacy and it makes it appealing for anybody that's concerned about their data security. Let's have a look at any type's drawbacks. As a relatively new tool, any type may have fewer third party integrations compared to the more established platforms. This could limit the functionality slightly. Also, with a smaller user base, finding community support and resources may be slightly challenging. This could slow down the learning process and hinder the troubleshooting of issues. Let us jump into Obsidian. What a powerful name. So first of all, Obsidian provides robust markdown support, allowing you to format your notes efficiently. This feature can benefit anybody familiar with markdown and can enhance the speed of your documentation creation. With bi-directional linking capabilities, you can also create links between notes that automatically connect and go back to each other. So the feature actually promotes networking through the process and enhancement of knowledge retrieval. Obsidian also offers a unique graph view that visualizes the connections between those notes, providing an intuitive way to explore and manage information and help you see relationships that might not be immediately apparent. Obsidian also stores notes as local files on your device, ensuring complete control and ownership over that data. The approach enhances security and it allows access without internet connection the platform also boasts a rich plugin ecosystem, allowing you to customize your experience and you can add various functionalities to the platform according to your specific needs. The flexibility really enhances your usability and the personalization tools. Obsidian also has a very strong community that actively contributes to documentation, plugins and support resources. Let's have a look at one or two of their drawbacks. So the initial setup and customization of Obsidian may be quite complex for new users. It could lead to a steeper learning curve, particularly for those unfamiliar with knowledge management tools. While Obsidian offers syncing capabilities, accessing these features may require a paid subscription. Again, that might be a bit of a downer. So talking about note-taking apps, they all have such wonderful features. Uh, there's there's so many things that you can actually do with the software. It's more than just simple note-taking. And, um, you know, they, they have so much to offer. But at the end of the day, the takeaway is going to use the software, uh, going to use the app and seeing which one actually works for your specific needs. If this video was helpful, drop us a like. We'll see you next time.